Hi, I'm Mike Cerrone with Mastermind Agent. Welcome to the webinar, how to offer three commission rates and why the seller always picks the highest rate, which is higher than your competitors. Learn how one top agent sets up the game board so sellers are demanding his highest rate that he offers. All right, we're gonna be getting started in just a few minutes. If you're just getting in, go ahead and let us know what city you're in. Type your city into that orange question and comment box down at the bottom. Type in your uh, city name, press enter. When you do, the second box will pop open that says login. And on line number two, where it says temporary name, type in your name there and press go. When you do, you'll be part of the chat box. Uh, you can participate, ask questions, and so forth. So we'll be getting started in about four minutes. Hi, I'm Mike Cerrone with Mastermind Agent. You're in the right place if you're here for the webinar, how to offer three commission rates and why the seller always picks the highest rate, which is higher than your competitors. Learn how one top agent sets up the game board so sellers are demanding the highest rate he offers. All right, if you're just getting in, go ahead and type in your city uh, in that chat box. Uh, you'll find it on the page says, question and comment box. Go down to the bottom of that box, type in your city, press enter, or press go. When you do, uh, go ahead. There's going to be a box that pops up the very first time. It says login on line number two where it says temporary name. Just type your name in there and press go and you'll be into the chat box. And uh, that way you can participate as we go and uh, ask questions at the end at the end. So it's going to be a fantastic webinar. Real excited to talk to you about this. Uh, I guess real quick, uh, who out there has had any challenges uh, when you get to that commission question, right? Have you ever had that where a seller either asks you on the phone when you first start talking to them that they want to know what your commission rate is and you start to cringe? If that's happened to you, let us know. Uh, or if you're sitting at the table and you've gone through your presentation, you think everything's great and they ask you what the commission rate is, and everything gets silent. <laughs> if you've had that happen, let me know. Uh, this, by the way, is a live uh, webinar, live training, uh, so we, we can communicate back and forth. It's going to be a lot of fun today. Uh, we'll be getting started in about a minute, but if you're just getting in, go ahead and let me know uh, what city you're in. Type in your city, uh, press enter, then put your name on that temporary name line and press go. So I'm going to get a drink of water. Uh, you might want to do the same, get some paper and pencil, and we'll be starting up in one minute.
All right, hi, I'm Mike Cerrone with Mastermind Agent and welcome to the webinar, How to Offer Three Commission Rates and Why the Seller Always Picks the Highest Rate, which is higher than your competitors. Learn how one top agent sets up the game board so sellers are demanding the highest rate he offers. Pretty cool stuff, pretty cool, especially if you've ever bumped into, a, excuse me, a commission challenge. All right, if you're just getting in, go ahead and let me know where you're at. Type in your city there on that question and comment box. That'll put you into the chat so you can communicate and ask questions. Uh, when you press enter after you enter your city name, the second screen is going to pop open. says log in. Uh, just type in your name there on line number two and press go, and that'll put you into the box. And this is a live webinar. We're doing this uh, live on November uh, 10th. Uh, 2017. It's about 11 o'clock my time on uh, Mountain Time. It'll be about 1 o'clock on the East Coast, uh, noon Central, and uh, it'll be 10 in the morning out there on the Pacific. And uh, we've got Deborah from Chicago. Welcome, Deborah. We got Mark from Maui. Hey, Mark, that's fantastic. Congratulations. Welcome. Uh, I'm not sure what the time is out there, but I know it's a little later, a little earlier in the morning, rather. And then uh, Boca Raton, Florida. Welcome, Scotty. And we got Braun from Charlotte. Uh, we got uh, Date Williams. Welcome, Date, from Choice One. It's exciting to have so many people here. I can see the numbers on another screen. We got a really good group here today. I'm pretty excited. So uh, let's go ahead and get rolling. All right, so uh, let's start. Hi, I'm Mike Cerrone with Mastermind Agent, and this is the webinar, How to Offer Three Commission Rates and Why the Seller Always Picks the Highest Rate, which is higher than your competitors. Learn how one top agent sets up the game board so sellers are demanding the highest rate he offers. Well, this is going to be a deep dive. I'll be going, it'll be quick and to the point. It will be done in about 60 to 70 minutes. Uh, there won't be any replays, so please stay to the end. If you have any questions, type them into the question box as you think of them. I always like to do that while I'm thinking about them and so I don't forget by the end. So go ahead and do that, and then I'll review them no matter when they came in. And then I'll be answering questions with a full Q&A at the end. All right, so you're in the right place if you ever lost a listing to a discount broker offering a super low fee. You want a way to get your foot in the door by offering a low commission, but you do not want the seller to hire you at that low rate. You want to offer three commission rate structure and get the seller to always pick your highest rate, which is even higher than your competitors. All right, so I'm going to pause right here and let you, you know what you've already seen, and that is I'm going to be reading off the bullet points, and that's on purpose. That's to keep me on track so I don't go on to a tangent and turn our one-hour call into a two-hour call. So. <laughs> I appreciate you uh, doing that. I also don't want to miss any of this incredible information. I want to make sure you get all of it. So here's what you're going to learn today. You're going to learn how to set up a three commission rate structure that will result in bargain hunter sellers, like for sell by owners and now a lot of other folks too, being attracted to the low rate and setting appointments with you. Then pick your highest rate when you get to the appointment, right? So how do you present the commission options so the seller feels no pressure, and that's a key here, and then picks the highest rate on their own? They're going to make their own selection based on the logic that they see. And the diagram to draw to explain the cost-benefit analysis of each commission plan. You'll be able to see that. Plus the script one top agent uses that results in the seller always picking his highest commission rate. And it's not some arm-twisting script either. You're going to be really surprised. Even even when it's higher than your competitors, they're going to pick your highest rate. All right, so uh, free surprise, if you stay to the end, you'll get a copy of my seller lead sheet, the seller intake form that I used to find seller motivation and timing and set the appointments when I listed 21 homes in 20 days. Okay. Ah, sorry about that. I just had a little pause there. Uh, you can get this script right at the end. I'll be handing that out. And uh, uh, so stick to the end. You can get that. It's a pretty cool form. I used this to really get all the information I needed in that initial call with the seller. Make sure you're asking the right questions, gathering the, the best information, and setting appointments with the most motivated people. So who is Mike Cerrone and why should I listen to him? It's a good question. 
Uh, for those of you who have been with me before, uh, I'm going to take a few minutes to describe my background because I have a lot of people that are on the call that have not heard from me before. So this just take a few minutes. Uh, so I've got 24 years with a real estate license. I uh, started really slow, sold seven homes in my first full year. A broker told me I was doing great, but I didn't think so. I was living in a little studio apartment, driving an old car and eating Top Ramen. It wasn't a lot of fun. Uh, I stalled out. I, I figured things out, but I did stall out at about 20 closings per year. That's the most I could get up to on my own. And at that, that point, I kind of leveled out for three years in a row and couldn't figure out how to get beyond that. Uh, I was kind of stuck and I was hard headed. I don't know if anyone on the call is hard headed, but <laughs> if you are, you're in good company. That's why we got into the business because we're uh, pretty uh, self determined. Uh, however, it, it can also hold us back. You know, I wanted to invent everything myself. You may find yourself in that position. Sometimes we have to open up to some new ideas. Well, 19 years ago, I heard about a one-hour videotape of a top agent demonstrating his listing presentation, and I knew that focusing on listings would stabilize my income because I have been mainly working with buyers, which makes your income kind of yo-yo up and down. You know, you have a really good month, you make some income, and the next month you're now looking for buyers again and dragging them around in the car. And uh, and I realized that that just wasn't the way to increase my income, but I just didn't know how to get into the listing side on a, a more consistent basis. Well, when I heard about that tape, I wouldn't invest the money. They wanted about $1,000 in today's money, and I thought that was too much, and that I didn't want to do it, so I just stalled. <laughs> Then every time I struggled on a listing appointment, which was a lot, I didn't get most of them, I remembered that tape and I kept thinking, geez, if I just knew what the top agents were doing, maybe I could figure this thing out too. I, they must be doing something special. And by the way, they kind of were, uh, but I just had a feeling if I knew what it was, I could make it work for me. Well, one year later, I finally broke down. I said, this is enough. I keep missing out on all these listings and I invested the money. And I went for it. And by the way, it was a fast market like it is today. You'd think it'd be easy to get listings, but it actually wasn't. And uh, I needed to learn how to get in there and beat out all the competition. Well, you know, it took about two weeks for that tape to get to me. It had to come by old snail mail. And, uh, and when it first arrived at my office, I ripped open that package and I couldn't wait to watch it. So I ran home that night and I slammed it into the, the tape into the old VCR player and uh, I watched it over and over again. And the next day I modified, I had a listing appointment the next day. So I, so I really excited that tape came in and, uh, but I just made a couple tweaks on my listing appointment. And when I was out there, I started talking and this, this guy on the tape, his words started coming out of my mouth. I'm like, geez, after one day and they start, you know, kind of, I start mimicking what he was doing just by almost by osmosis. And the sellers were smiling and I realized this is going to work. And I took that listing and uh, it kind of went up from there, right? So I spent a few more hours re-watching the video and tweaking my presentation. I just kept modeling the top agents, what he said and how he presented to the seller. Everything got real exciting. And that year I focused on listings and my production doubled. So when I went to just listings focus, I went from 20 closings to 41 closings in one year. So that was a huge jump. It doubled my income. It was very exciting. Uh, I continued to master my presentation and soon I was listing five to 10 homes per month. That is really a lot of fun. I got to tell you, if you haven't experienced that, you really feel like you're in control of your own destiny at that point. And in my best month, I listed 21 homes in 30 days at 21 different kitchen tables. Pretty cool. And I want to clarify again, that wasn't 21 listings for like an REO account or something. That was 21 different sellers that I had to go out and find and then go to all their different houses. And it, it, to be clear and you know transparent and everything it was probably about 25 26 homes i went to i didn't get all of them but i got the majority of them i was getting pretty good with my my ability to close and uh and present this information so uh, that was a lot of fun uh, my production jumped that year from the 41 closings to 95 closings i doubled again and then the following year i was able to maintain and rise a little bit up to 113 closings and that year, I was very fortunate. I was listed in the top 300 agents in the nation uh, by the National Association of Realtors magazine. I couldn't find that actual magazine, unfortunately, but I did find this online. I found this, this printout here, and you can see I was ranked number 263, 
and I closed 113 transactions that year in uh, Lakewood, Colorado. It's a suburb of Denver, and uh, it was a pretty exciting time. Uh, and the only mistake I think I made was that I waited that one year to buy that tape. I always think that was one of the the dumber things that I did uh, in retrospect. Of course, you don't know it at the time, but that made such a huge difference. And I just wish I wouldn't have lost that year because I literally made a thousand times my investment back over the next few years. And uh, I did lose that year. I wish I wouldn't have. I realized this listing process, though, is transferable, right? If the top agent could teach it to me, maybe I could teach it to others. Now, I started to get super busy, so I decided to hire a listing agent, a listing specialist on my, my little team that I started up. And uh, it was something that was really new. I put out that an advertisement for it, and nobody wanted to do it because it was such a new concept at the time. Uh, some of the top agents in the nation, there were a few of them around that were just starting to do this. Uh, I know it's a prevalent today, but it wasn't back then. Uh, in fact, buyer agents were a pretty new idea back then. So listing specialist was really kind of out there. Uh, so I put this out there. Nobody wanted to do it. So I kept having to look around. I finally found a young man in his 20s named Jamie who finally said, yeah, I'll try it. And uh, he had his license for about six months. He'd only closed two buyers. He'd never taken a listing before. Uh, <laughs> I said, you know what? No one else has applied. This guy's friendly. I'm going to give him a shot. And, uh, and so we, we took a chance on each other. So the first month, I trained him a few hours per week. Again, as you saw, I was really flying around really busy. So I could only give him a couple hours here and there. And he kind of got restless because I wasn't you know, moving him into actually taking listings. And so the second month, I said, you know what, don't, don't leave, stick around, why don't we do this, why don't you go on a few solo listing appointments, I'll just send you out with my reject leads, the people that I don't even think that they're going to do anything, and that way you can get some practice, and it's not going to really affect my business, because I didn't plan on listing them at all anyway. Well, amazingly, he actually started listing homes. In fact, over half the appointments he went on, he listed in the second month. I think it was just because he was following the program, right? Once you figure out this stuff, it becomes pretty easy. And by his third month on the job, he listed 14 homes in 30 days and was earning a net 10000 per month back then. I mean, it was pretty exciting. He didn't have any expenses. He's listing 14 properties uh, a month. I mean, you know, life was good. It was pretty exciting. Now, this is a guy, keep in mind, by this time, what is he, about nine months, eight, nine months in the business, never took a listing before he came into our office, and now he's taken 14 listings in one month. If he can do it, what do you think you can do with your experience, right? So how did this work? Well, it came down to modeling. I modeled the top agent, and I had success. And then Jamie modeled me, and he had success. Uh, it's just learning how to do it. So People ask Mike, what happened next? Well, I went on to build real estate brokerages and mortgage brokerages and real estate investment companies. And now I'm semi-retired from real estate. And, uh, you know, I got, I got, uh, what happened was I ended up selling and, uh, but retirement is just kind of boring. So I said, what else can I do? So I really enjoyed real estate and I want to go out and help others uh, in the industry. And so today I interview top agents uh, in the nation for success calls on the Mastermind Agent Network. If you've heard those calls, you know they're a lot of fun. And occasionally I host summits with top trainers and top agents. Hopefully you've been to some of our summits. And I recently hosted the Listing Agent Summit where 14 top agents demonstrate their listing presentations in detail and showed us their exact presentation scripts and handouts. And now I'm going to share some of the findings from that summit. Now, just so you know, these really were top people. So here are the top agents that were at the top listing agent summit. We had Eric Hatch with 508 homes worth $108 million in one year. Just think about that number. Isn't that crazy? And Chantel Ray, 1,300 homes this year. She's on track, too, with her and her team. And Brian Macker, 235 homes or $45 million. And Brian takes all of his own listings. Melinda Estridge, 
120 homes were 70 million in one year. Nate Martinez, 616 homes were 68 million in one year. Patrick Tuttle, 80 homes were 15 million in one year. And plus, he's doing property management, has a couple hundred properties under management. And then you got Paul Wheeler, 248 homes were 35 million. Judy Jackson is a listing specialist on a team, and she came in to talk with us, which was nice. And she had just taken seven listings in seven days. <laughs> Judy said the best thing she liked about focusing on listings is she got her evenings and weekends back. Uh, she no longer has to work those. Those evenings and weekends. She thought that was amazing. Uh, and then Shane White, 212 homes were 36 million in one year. Uh, Steve Cohen, 106 homes were 26 million in one year. We also had Shar McCollum with 210 homes were 35 million. Bob McTagg, 210 homes were 32 million. Wayne Turner was there with 286 homes were 51 million. And Denny Grimes, 400 homes, 150 million in his best year. I mean, just some impressive people with some impressive numbers. Well, luckily, I was able to record all these things on video, and I keep watching the videos over and over again. I kind of got obsessed like I did when I received that very first tape. Uh, so I was looking for the patterns that these people were doing, and so I watched their sessions over and over, and I was amazed with all the details they were willing to share. And I got to tell you, while I'm watching it, I just am nodding my head up and down saying, yeah, that's that's exactly what I was doing. That That's exactly what worked. So I picked up stuff in the third viewing that I missed in the second, all these little details that they were sharing. And the top agents, they were just given so much. They were just pouring their heart out. And uh, I wanted to see, again, those patterns. Because if you can identify the patterns, you can duplicate what they're doing, their actions, and then you can duplicate their results. So you want to mimic their best practices. And that's what they were showing us. So I actually uh, ended up creating a 39-page listing presentation template. It's modeled after the common elements that the top agents had in their presentations. And I'm really proud of that. And But now I'd like to share with you a major lesson that I learned, okay? In order to understand where I'm going in the big pr process of listings, I, I, I'm going to put up this 10-step listing process of the top agents. And this was kind of the pattern that I saw after looking at so many of them. And first, they screen and set. So when that call first comes in, they ask the qualifying questions and find out motivation and timing. Then they collect data. If it's good, they set that appointment. And then they send out a pre-listing package to pre-sell them. They do a meet and greet when they get to the property to set that rapport and then they re-qualify to make sure that seller is really motivated. They establish the expertise that they are the expert. They go into their marketing plan on how they're going to get that home sold. They value the property to show what value, either range or absolute amount, the property should be. Then they go through a net sheet to show what the costs are associated with the sale so people know what they're going to walk out of closing with. And then they go into their close, asking for the sale and handling the objections if there are any that pop up. And then they they talk about what's going to happen next. So the seller knows what's next on the on the horizon. And so we're going to focus today on number eight, the net sheet, right? The review of the estimated cost to the seller and the seller net sheet process. So what we're going to talk about, this comes in at this point. It actually comes in when the initial call comes in too, but I'm going to focus on eight. All right, so here's the problem. Let's dive into it. The seller calls your office and says that he wants to sell his house, and you get excited, right? Your marketing is working, and then the seller asks, what is your commission? <laughs> and you freeze. You know, if you say too high, the seller may hang up and end the opportunity, and if you say too low, the seller may set the appointment, but you're going to leave money on the table, so if you say nothing... Uh, they're going to try to, and you know, you try to push off the discussion. You get a little nervous. Seller may agree to do that, or they may just hang up and go on to the next one. So it's a tough situation, but it's very common. So that's the problem we're working with today, and you'll see some solutions. So the typical conversation, uh, here's a common phone call that you may have experienced. The seller calls up, and you get a conversation going, and the seller says, at some point in there, well, what is your commission? They might even start off the first question that way, right? Hi, you know, this is Mike with ABC Realty. And the first thing you hear is, what is your commission? 
<laughs> so I don't know. What do you do when you hear that? Do you freeze? Do you have a, a comeback line? Do you get nervous? Or you know, what do you do? Well, here, how, how about let's, let's try this. Maybe the agent says, well, they just tell them, I charge 8%. When would you like to meet? And the seller says, well, that's too high. I just received a postcard from an agent who will sell my house for $9.95. And you ask, well, does that include the buyer agent? And the seller says, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm calling them. Goodbye. Click. Ah, <laughs> that is not fun. Uh, has that ever happened to you? I know it happened to me quite a bit till I figured out how to deal with that. And uh, we're going to talk about how a top agent deals with it. And this top agent is Paul Wheeler, and he's a really sharp fella, real nice guy, and Paul Wheeler's been a top agent, uh, is a top agent, and he sold 248 homes in his best year. And uh, he kept having calls from sellers like the one we just heard. Sellers were calling and asking his rate. And when Paul told the seller the rate, they'd say they could get it cheaper and hung up the phone or asked him to match the low rate right then and there. You know, this often happens with for sale by owners. If you work with for sale by owners, but the, the scary part for Paul is it started to happen with his referrals from his past clients and sphere of influence. His, even his friends and family were asking him to cut his rate. And he's like, man, what is going on? So Paul knew he needed to take a different approach. And uh, he added it up. He said, well, geez, could I do this 995 thing? And he just tried to run the numbers. And he, he realized he just couldn't make a profit if he matched the 995 flat rate that his competitors were advertising. He said, that just doesn't make any sense. So Paul believed that if he could get in the door, though, he could show the seller how his full commission marketing plan was better than the discount broker or that discount plan. And it would result in a faster sale for more money. He just needed to get his foot in the door. He just needed to get in front of that seller, belly to belly with him and start talking. So after a lot of testing, he came up with a solution. Paul designed a flexible commission program with three commission rates. He started offering this program with for sell by owners and other sellers, including his past clients, started ask about his rate during that initial call. And he added up a super low discount model flat rate as one of the options that he would talk about in that initial call, right? So when the seller asked over the phone about his rate, Paul would say, and you might want to write this down if you're thinking about going this direction, ready? I have three commission rates starting as low as $9.95. When would be a good time for me to show you? Today at 4, tomorrow at 1.30. How cool is that, right? <laughs> After he started saying that, the seller always set the appointment, right? If they were focused on the low rate, the $9.95, they're excited. They want to hear about it. And even if they weren't asking about low rates, if he said that, they'd want to meet with them because they want to find out, well, what does that mean? And, uh, and, all of, and notice how he goes into the assumptive close, by the way. You know, when would be a good time for me to show you today at 4 or tomorrow at 1.30? You're giving them two options. Notice they're in the middle of the day, by the way, because that's what you want to start doing, have a 9 to 5 job. But it's two options, and either one of those options they pick, you're in great shape. Well, fast forward to the presentation, right? He offers the sellers the three commission plan because I'm sure that's what you want to know. How do you get off of that 995 thing? Well, they always pick the highest rate, which is higher than his market because he writes it out and talks about OCR. And OCR is options, consequences, and recommendations. Okay, so he sells with a servant heart. In fact, he he caught he's now decided that after all this time, what he's been doing is this servant heart selling. And uh, he likes that idea, this giving. And when you give so much, it comes back. So it's very low pressure, very low key. In fact, you, you listen to Paul talk, there's no pressure at all. He's just giving you lots of options. Uh, well, his entire listing presentation, of course, is in the summit, including this document and form and how he does it. Uh, but I got something special right now that I'd like to share with you, right? So the commission uh, presentation, let's take a look at a video of Paul's commission presentation. And we're not going to do the whole thing, but we're going to do just a little clip. You know, it's something super, super special. 
Uh, but first, before we go into this, we have to have the talk. And and if you don't feel comfortable after the talk, you need to just you know get off of this call because it's not. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. But the video you're about to see is for educational purposes only. So this video is for educational purposes only. There are no standard rates. Commissions are completely negotiable in every market. I know you know that, but I want to point it out. Uh, the services and programs differ from agent to agent and broker to broker. You may charge higher or you may charge lower than the commissions being demonstrated. Do we all agree on that? Okay, if you're not comfortable with that, go ahead and just you know exit the call now, and that's okay. No hard feelings. Uh, but if you're okay and you understand that we're not trying to set any kind of standard rate, we're just talking about an idea, and you can change the numbers all you want, then uh, let's move forward. All right, this video, again, is just demonstrating a concept that you may use, modify, or reject. So the video is about five minutes long, and I'm going to have to jury-rig this thing where I put my microphone up to a speaker, so I'm not sure how good the sound comes in. You might have to turn the sound up to hear it. But here is Paul role-playing with me about his commission options. So let's give this little jury rig thing and I a try. And hang with me here for a minute as I go over there. And just a second, stay, stick in there. And boom. Yeah, it looks like the video is up. So I'm going to take my headset off and put the microphone right up to the speaker. And hopefully you hear it. So I might have to turn the sound up. Here we go. And then I usually bring up commission. I never get um, questions again in my listing presentation for the most part. I'm just taking them through the education process. I say, okay, great. Well, thank you for your vote of confidence. I'm really excited about helping you make that move to Atlanta, Mike. Um, let me uh, share one more thing with you, and that's uh, commissions marketing piece. And so I start off, and as you can see, I'm a scribbler again. I turn the sheet over and I say, all right, um, standard in town uh, is 6% uh, is average, right? So some are higher, some are lower. I have a few different marketing campaigns and um, I want to share those with you. All right, my first one is is uh, 7% and that is uh, everything we've got. That is a, a very aggressive campaign. And in this campaign, you get everything we do uh, for our marketing. Okay, uh, you get our entire team and you get all the follow-up and feedback. And so that's chasing down all the, uh, the buyers and that's me uh, speaking with you each week, analyzing the market data and feedback and helping guide you. In this campaign, 80 to 85% sell in an average of 34 days on the market with a list to sales price ratio of 99%. So on average, uh, to make it easy, uh, if we listed at 100,000, we'd sell for 99. The person that picks this says, I want to sell. I want to sell for the most amount of money and the least amount of time. And uh, and so they, they want to move. And they, for you, your your situation, Mike, you want to be in Atlanta in, in four months or less, right? So uh, the second campaign is a 6% campaign. And um, it's the traditional four Ps. Put up a sign, put up a key box, put it in the MLS. You know what the MLS is, the multiple listing service. And then we pray, okay? And so this is the traditional marketing campaign that uh, uh, traditional uh, agents do. In this campaign, in our market, about 40% sell. If they do sell, it's about 80 to 85 days. If they do sell, and then our list to sales price ratio in that campaign is about 95%, okay? And so the person that generally picks this is generally, they don't, they're not as motivated. They don't really care if they sell. And, and what I hear a lot is if I don't sell for this amount, I'll just stay here for another three to five years until the market recovers, okay? And it's not a bad campaign. It's just not as aggressive. And then my last one is my $995 up front. And so this is for the gamblers, and uh, you usually get a chuckle out of that. And so someone, uh, the seller gives me $995 up front to cover some of the initial costs, and then we still want to offer 3% to the uh, MLS system, the other realtors, and then 
um, I, uh, I charge 1% uh, to negotiate an offer. And so in this particular price range, it was about, you know, 4.5%. So a little less cost, but you've got risk. You're giving me a, a money up front. Statistically, in this little line here that I've drawn, statistically, it's exactly the same as this one. So just not as aggressive. Might be a cost savings if, you know, you do sell. And so um, you get to pick, and uh, depending on your situation, uh, any of these is fine, but what do you think is best for you in your current situation? Wow. I'm not sure, Paul. What did most people pick? You know, good question. Um, it depends on their situation. It really does. The people that have a timeline want to move. And here's actually here I'll share this with you. And this is the most amazing thing to me. So if you look at this, the 6% campaign is 1% less but it is 4% less on what the seller nets. If a high net to you in a fast sale is the most important thing, choose the aggressive campaign, right? If it doesn't matter if you sell and, you know, it's just you're not as motivated and you, you know, pick this one or if you're a gambler, pick this one. But in your situation, you know, if you want to be in Atlanta in four months, if I was in your shoes, I'd do this, but, you know, what's best for you? Well, we got to be in Atlanta in four months, so I, I, I think we'd have to pick that first program. Yeah, and I, I completely agree. There's just no way we won't sell in this campaign, and uh, and so uh, we'll make sure that you're there in, in that amount of time. And and so yeah, that's um, I, I completely agree with you. All right, fantastic. Well, then I will get with my team. They'll contact you tomorrow for paperwork. We'll tell them we're going full-blown marketing. We need to be in Atlanta in four months. Um, and so I'm excited about, uh, excited about getting you there. Wow. I hope you heard that. Uh, that was pretty exciting stuff. Uh, I want to point out a, a couple of things here. Uh, now, again, he used three different plans. You can use three different uh, rates if you want. Uh, but notice that on the lowest rate, what he called it, he called it the gambler's rate, the people who want to take a risk. And isn't that kind of what it is? Because you really don't know if it's going to work or how hard somebody would work for that small of a fee. And uh, so it just makes logical sense. And then also the other thing I'd point out is he focused real on the motivation, the motivation of this uh, seller and their objective and goal, in this case, of getting to Atlanta. All right, well, let me switch back over. Just hang with me for a minute. Well, I switch our screen back over to our, our knowledge piece here. And there we go. Cool. Well, again, that was fantastic stuff. So uh, <laughs> what do you think of the video? I hope you liked that. And I hope you were able to hear it. I know the, the volume was a little low, but it was pretty good stuff. Uh, so, you know, Paul is so caring. He wants the sellers to have options and make good decisions. I don't know if you picked that up from him. Notice that Paul would not tell the seller what to do. He wouldn't tell the seller what to do. He asked, what do you think? What do you think? He wants the seller to make that decision and make that choice. You know, Paul believes in the servant heart selling. He uses OCR. He describes options to the sellers, explains the consequences, makes recommendations, and then gets out of the way and lets the seller decide. No, there's no pressure. There's, uh, it's a no pressure approach. Typically results in the seller picking the highest rate because they recognize it has the highest value and the probability of getting the best results, not only just the best results money-wise, but time-wise to get them where they need to go. That's why you'll want to continuously focus on what is their motivation, where do they want to be. So if you're losing the battle to a discount broker before you get a chance to even present, consider the three commission option approach to get your foot in the door. Well, I'm not sure why you showed up today. It could be you want to know how to structure a three commission rate program where the seller always picks the highest rate. And it could be you want to improve your listing presentation so you sign more sellers and beat out other agents in this hyper-competitive market. 
It could be you want to gain the confidence of knowing you have an awesome presentation so you start attracting sellers to you. And it could be you want to learn how the top agents list and sell hundreds of homes each year. You want to do it too. Well, if there's one thing you can take away from today, it's that I've cracked the code for modeling the top agents listing presentations and duplicating their results. It literally changed my world and the world of my new listing agent and the world of my students. It's very much a replicatable system that you can apply to your real estate practice and you can finally have a consistent, dependable monthly income stream and the freedom to enjoy it. So the obvious question is, how do you apply this code, this system, this model of the top agent listing presentations to your business and create consistent monthly income? Well, you have a choice. You can do it slowly using trial and error, taking some of what I shared today, or you can do it quickly using models in the Listing Agent Summit Recordings training program. Well, when in doubt, bring in Einstein. Everything should be made as simple as possible, but not simpler. So what is the Listing Agent Summit recordings? At the summit, 14 top agents demonstrated their listing presentations as we watched over their shoulder and onto their computer screen. And you can see and download their real life listing presentation documents, hear and mimic their words and scripts and model their best practices. And it was all recorded on video. This is absolutely the fastest way to get from point A to point B. You can get to your goal slowly in this <laughs> funny looking vehicle, or you can get there quickly in a hot red Ferrari. It's your choice. What exactly is inside the summit? Well, you get 14 training videos of the top agents demonstrating their exact listing presentation in detail right? So this is really cool. And let me let you know that there were three methods that they went along. We had a group of age top agents who basically did a role play with me where I was the seller and they were the, the agent and we role played back and forth through the entire listing presentation. So that's a pretty cool way to see it. There was a second group that did something different. They're more analytical. So they said, look, here's step one. Here's why I'm doing it. Here's step two. Here's why I'm doing it. I might say this. I might do that. Here's step three. Here's what I do. Here's what I hand them. Here's the document. You know, they would go through it logically from A to Z. And then you had a third group. What they would do is a combination of the two. They'd role play with me and then they'd step out. They'd say, hi, hey, Mike, I want to step out and I want to tell you why I did that and here's why it works and here's what you're going to see happen with the seller and then they jump back into the role play and then they jump back out and explain it again. So you have kind of three different options for how they walk through it. You also get this incredible samples and handouts. You get dozens of downloadable samples and handouts so you can see their entire listing system from start to finish, including seller lead sheet. So what do you say when that call first comes in? What questions do you ask to find timing and motivation? And assuming they are motivated, what do you do and what do you say to set that appointment? You see their script there. And then you got pre-listing packages. What do these agents send out before they go on the appointment uh, to pre-sell themselves to the seller. And then you got listing presentations with full marketing plans. Now, the cool part about this to me is their marketing plan is much simpler than you think. It's what most agents already are doing. It's just they describe it with much better language and demonstration. And you got pricing charts and graphs to make sure that that seller lists at the right price and you can get that property sold on time. And then you got forms and checklists to make sure that you're staying on track with this entire process. You don't miss anything. And then you got the seller handouts that you give to the seller when you're done to get them ready for the next step, like preparing their home for photos or preparing their home for a showing. You know, it comes down to a, a simple idea. If you want to list homes like the top agents, just model the top agent listing presentations and get the same results. It's really that simple. It worked for me, it worked for my listing agent, and it'll work for you. So how much will this cost me? Well, 19 years ago, I wanted to see inside the listing presentation of one top agent who was listing and selling 200 homes per year. And I want to be just like him. So after one year of procrastinating, 
<laughs> I feel really bad about that. I finally broke down and got this one hour videotape, right? I got to see his materials and listen to how he presented and understand his philosophy. Well, was it worth it? Absolutely. I watched the video, made it my own, practiced, and I went out and started taking listings. Lots and lots of listings. Very quickly, I started listing five to 10 homes per month. And in my best month, I listed 21 homes in 30 days. I can't tell you how awesome that feels. And I, the reason I keep pointing this out is I want you to feel that good, right? I want you to go take five to 10 listings a month or 21 homes in a month if that's what you want to do. It's pretty amazing stuff. I just modeled the top agent and it worked. Now, I made my investment back with my first listing when it closed, and then I literally made a thousand times my investment over the next few years. I would never trade that experience. I only wish I wouldn't have procrastinated and waited that one year. I would have been earning that much faster. Well, I found out it's duplicatable, right? Eventually, I wanted to expand with a listing agent, so I hired a new agent. Only had his license for six months, had only closed two buyer transactions, and had never taken a listing. He was listing homes in his second month with my reject leads, and he listed 14 homes in 30 days in his third month. Again, I tell you that because I bet you have more experience than this agent did. Only six months, no, no listings, and only two buyers. And by his second month with us, he was uh, listing properties with the reject leads. And uh, by his third month, 14 homes listed in 30 days. How cool would that be? Well, these concepts are transferable and anyone can learn how. Modeling successful systems is the key. I modeled the top agents and quickly became a success. Then my new listing agent modeled me and ramped up fast. Now you can model the top agents and start listing homes at a rapid rate too. So what's the value? Well, that one hour VCR videotape I purchased basically cost me $1,000 in today's money. This summit, there are 14 agents demonstrating their exact listing presentation and sharing their handouts. So based on that, the 14 video recordings should cost about $14,000 and they'd be worth it. Just think about it. A couple of closings, they'd be paid for. Then every listing after that would be pure profit. But you don't have to pay $14,000, not even $10,000, although it'd probably be worth it. Not even $5,000. Now, what I should have done is charge $2,000, and a lot of the top trainers told me that was the right number for this course, but I'm not going to do that. You can get the entire Summit recordings for only one payment of $9.97 today. That's it. One payment, $9.97. The whole thing is yours. You get it right up front, all 14 demonstrations. You're going to be listing homes right away. Pretty exciting stuff. Now, I had some... Some folks asked me, they said, Mike, I love the program. I love the idea. How do I do this, though, with a payment plan? I, I, I can't put the full amount up today. Can I do it in a payment plan? I said, you know what? Let me think about what's the best I can do. And so for this webinar, I put together a 12-month program for $97 a month. So you can get started for $97 today. Now, that's a webinar-only special, uh, but that's a fantastic program if you need to have the payments. And yes, by the way, you get the whole thing right now. I'm not going to hold back and just give you one video today and one presentation in a month and the second one three months later. You know, it's all going to come today. You're going to get the whole thing right up front so you can dive in and get quickly ramp up. And what a perfect time of the year to do that, by the way. You got a couple months here, less than a couple months, a month and a half to the end of the year. You can take this information, dig in, master your listing process, and come January 1, you'll be on top of it to have a fantastic 2018. Start listing homes right away. Well, I love action takers, so I got three fast action bonuses, and I call these student-driven bonuses as they were all designed at the request of the Summit students to make this training even more easy and simple. Remember Einstein. I, I want you to take action. I told you I stalled out for a year. It was a huge mistake. I, I want to help you get off the fence. This should be a no-brainer. right? So fast action bonus number one, the seller lead sheet template. 
So what I did was I went out and I modeled the top agent or top agent systems and I created a simple Word document that had all the questions they were asking all in the same order. And you can now use it right out of the box or modify it. If you want to add or subtract a question, it's easy to do in that Word format. You can quickly determine seller motivation and timing with this form and set appointments with the best leads. All right, then we got fast action bonus number two, the listing presentation template. So again, I looked at all these folks and what they were doing, and I said, let's model the common elements of each of the top agents' listing presentations. And I came up with this 39-page fill-in-the-blank template in both Word and PowerPoint. So you can see it in Word. You can make modifications quickly. If you like to print things out, you can also do it in PowerPoint. You can make some quick modifications if you need to, or you just have it right there. You just slide slide along right in front of that seller. So all you have to do to, to customize this is enter your name, photo, phone, email, and a couple little pieces of data. And within 24 hours, you're going to be up and running with a full listing presentation just like the pros. Pretty exciting stuff. Well, I also have fast action bonus number three. I kept getting requests that people said, geez, Mike, you listed 21 homes in 30 days. Can I see that presentation? And so I said, you know what? I will. I'll put that down video. So I demonstrate my exact listing presentation that I use to list homes. And you can download that presentation, modify it, change it, use it, do whatever you'd like with it. You can see my marketing plan, my price bracket strategy, and how I close for the listing at my full commission rate. And that price bracket strategy is really amazing. What it does is it helps the seller see where they need to price their home right there at the listing. And, and most people jump into that bracket and you're set. You're ready to go. You're going to have a nice quick sale. If they're going to get a great price, everybody's going to win. But if for some reason they're overshooting the moon, they want too much, this price bracket strategy helps them come back down to earth, say within a week or two. In fact, by using this, I was often able to write the price reduction right into the initial listing agreement and additional provisions. So that's some pretty cool stuff. You'll be able to see that. Now I have another webinar only bonus. This is really cool. It's how to get more listing appointments because I had people say, Mike, I understand if I'm able to present better, I'm going to get more listings. But how do I get more sellers in the pipeline? How do I get more sellers to get in front of? And so we've got a copy of the Agent Lead Generation Summit recordings for you to help answer that. Uh, and let's tell you what's in there. You got 17 top agents answered this question in detail. What is your number one best lead generation method in today's market? You get to look over their shoulder and onto their computer screen and see exactly what they're doing. They're going to show you how they do things like Facebook ads for sellers, geographic farming that's producing 20, 20 listings a month. You got past clients, fear of influence and referrals. You got internet leads uh, that you're buying with pay-per-click or you're getting for free with SEO, IDX, phone process prospecting where you're going out to people or you have people come to you through open houses. Each of these agents has a different way that they're generating these leads and getting them into their system so they have more and more sellers to talk to and you're going to get a, a copy of that as a webinar only bonus today. Now, when you invest, you have my personal 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not happy for any reason, you get a full uh, refund. All you have to do is send me an email and let me know. But I know you're going to be happy with this because it's fantastic material. Here's what to do now. Click the big red button under this screen that looks like this. And here's what's going to happen next. You'll see this page where you enter your info. And then next, you'll pick your payment option, either the one pay or the 12 pay. And then you click the green order button at the bottom of the form. Okay. And then you'll be taken here and you'll receive an email within 15 minutes with your username and password. You just enter it and you're right into the system. Pretty cool stuff. Stuff. You're going to be taken right inside with full access to everything and even your fast action bonuses and webinar bonus will be preloaded for you. So this is a screenshot of what you see inside. You can see you got the summit. This is Eric Hatch's listing presentation that he walked through for us. Uh, you can see it was 94 minutes and 30 seconds. I mean, he goes deep into this thing, tells us everything, all the little nuances that you want to hear about. Uh, and in fact, not only did he show his presentation, 
he talked about how he gets sellers to come to his office for in-office appointments to speed up his time. He's getting an 85% show-up rate, and 70% of the sellers are signing right there before they do any follow-up. Pretty amazing when you realize most of the people showing up he doesn't know. So that's a pretty good number. Uh, well, it all starts with taking action today, right? You can do it slowly using trial and error, using some of what I shared today, or you can do it quickly using the models, the 14 top agents used inside the Listing Agent Summit recordings. So here's what to do now. Click that big red button on this page and get immediate access to the Listing Agent Summit recordings where you're going to see the 14 videos of the top agents demonstrating their listing presentations. You can download dozens of samples pre-listing presentations marketing plans you get to see their whole package and you also get fast action bonus number one the seller lead sheet template in word you get fast action bonus number two the listing presentation in both word and PowerPoint fact that fast action bonus number three my listing presentation you get to see that whole thing download it do what you want with it that I used to list 21 homes in 30 days and then the webinar only bonus which is the agent lead generation Summit recordings where the 17 agents show you how they're generating leads into their business. And they get lifetime access with a 30-day money-back guarantee. And you can either do one payment or 12 payments, whichever is better for you. So right now, I'd like to go through the Q&A. Uh, go ahead and type your questions into the question box on your screen. It's going to look like this. Find the box. Type the question into the bottom. When you press enter, if you've already in the system, that's all you have to do. But if it's your first time, this little white screen pops open that says log in. Don't worry about logging in. Just on line number two, type your temporary name, press go, and your question will be in the box. All right. So while we're uh, waiting for the questions to come in, I'm going to put this up. And I'm going to go over and see if we can take a look and see if we've got some questions coming in uh, on this yet. And by the way, you can ask me any questions you like, how they're doing, the three-option plan for the commissions. You can ask me about listing presentations. You can ask me about the summit, whatever you'd like to know. Let's see. So I'm going to go down here. Um, Let's see, looked like somebody was having a challenge getting in. Hopefully that got worked out. And boom, let's see. <laughs> hey, everybody, thank you so much for helping the person that was having a challenge logging in and uh, pushing the little button to get the player going. I'm hoping that all worked out. Uh, hopefully it did. Again, thank you so much for, for helping out each other in that chat box. That is pretty cool. Well, I'm looking for questions Oh, and it looks like they got it, so that's really cool. I'm looking for questions, and I'm surprised, but I don't see any, so I'm going to assume that means we did a really great job of answering all your questions as we went along. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move on to uh, that free gift that I promised you. You can get a free surprise because you stayed to the end. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me. Uh, you can get a copy of my seller lead sheet, the seller intake form that I use to find seller motivation and timing and set listing appointments when I listed 21 homes in 30 days. A lot of fun. I hope you do the same. So I open up a new internet browser window so you don't lose this information before you open it and go to www.mastermindagent.com forward slash lead sheet. So that's www.mastermindagent.com forward slash lead sheet. And you'll be able to get a copy of that uh, seller lead sheet. And again, I'm really uh, uh, thank you for the uh, opportunity to talk to you about this great information. I hope you all go out there and start listing homes right away and you consider using this three option plan if you're having challenges with for sale by owners or other people that are trying to beat you up on rate before you can even get out to the property. Uh, I hope that's been helpful. I hope you have a very productive week and weekend and you take care. Bye now.